Hey guys, Ryan here with RC Customs and I got a special little video for us today. We are going to be working on my brand new Ranger. I just got this a couple weeks ago. Um, I love it. It has the 2.3 EcoBoost engine. It's a 2019 completely stock, but I just ordered something for today and we're going to be installing it. It is the Air Raid oiled uh, air intake for it. Um, hopefully we'll get some more turbo noise <coughs> Excuse me, hopefully we'll get some more turbo noise and I also have the go fast bits um, Tuner uh, not tuner. Sorry blow off valve um, From American trucks on order right now, so we're gonna be installing that too when that comes in right now It's tuned with the SCT BDX uh, 87 octane tune, but we're going to be installing this air raid intake today and see get some sound clips of uh how it sounds uh after and how it sounds before so right now you're going to hear it sounding before and um then after uh, i do the install we're going to do some clips of it after so stay tuned because it's going to be a cool episode not a lot of videos of what the intake sounds like with it hopefully we hear some more turbo um hopefully we hear uh that nice whooshing sound of the turbo, you know, but we'll see. So here are the before clips and we'll start the install right after that. Alright guys, so this is what comes in the box with the Air Raid kit. This is not sponsored by them, but I've done Air Raid uh, intakes before on Mustangs and EcoBoosts, and I definitely recommend them. They were pretty awesome, um, definitely really good, and uh, pretty good price for what they are. But you got the filter here, the new intake box, the intake cover, the new tubing for the pipe, and the inlet for it and all your clamps and stuff so and instructions and return stuff as well so stop this product to store blah 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 all that good stuff and apparently yeah you're plus eight horsepower so i don't know how true that is but we'll see um but so now we're going to get started on the install, so I'll see you guys after I uh, start taking apart the old one. Alright guys, so we got the intake housing out. So basically it is four bolts pretty much. Um, you gotta disconnect this quick connect for the uh, return for the vacuum. This plug, disconnect these two, um, 
these two holders on it and then loosen this up. But um, for these, uh, just a forewarning, you have to be super careful with them, especially, excuse me, if you're working on a car that's been in salt, um, been exposed to the elements, um, they are super brittle. Those, that yellow plug is very, very brittle. And I know the green ones on uh, the Mustangs, I break them all the time. If I ever did an intake on them, I would break them all the time. So you have to be super, super careful when popping them out because that tab breaks, you're gonna have a vacuum leak like a motherfucker. Um, but then basically you wanna undo the two front bolts on here, then just wiggle this out. It will pop right out of the box itself. Then the box has underneath that plenum, you have the front bolt there with, and the front bolt there. Both of them are eight mil and the two bolts for the plenum are T30s. So um, now we're going to be taking off the intake tubing pipe, probably disconnecting that regulator right there and putting on the new stuff. So see you guys in a bit. All right, with that intake tube off, we're gonna have this exposed. So make sure you just don't drop anything in there because it will go straight to the turbocharger. Um, also, when you're removing that, be careful not to damage this coolant line because it is a coolant line, it is the overflow uh, return line. Um, so just make sure not to damage anything. You don't want any coolant leaks, but definitely make sure not to drop anything in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a rag, we're gonna put it in there just to make sure that nothing gets damaged in there because that is going right to the turbo. So we don't want anything to damage the turbocharger, the uh, compressor side of the turbocharger. So we're just gonna put a towel over it like that, make sure nothing gets in there and we are good to go. Okay, now that we got the old felt uh, housing out, we're gonna be putting in the new one. So you're gonna be wanting to take the plastic bit off of here, this mounting post and put it on the air raid one. And now we're going to be installing the air raid one into the car, um, bolting it down and yeah. Then move on to the uh, air raid adapter, put the filter in, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys when I get that all on. So we got the two bolts in the front for the scoop here. We're using the two original hardwares right here. So next step is we're going to be throwing this adapter on in here. So the filter has something to mount to. 
So that will be the next step is we're going to be throwing that filter uh, adapter on. All right guys, now that we got the filter housing on, um, we put those bolts in the back right there. Um, these Torx, uh, not Torx, uh, Allen key bolts, they are a five thirty second or a four in metric. So you could use either one. Um, I was, if you saw earlier, I was using my, uh, my triple, which is all metric, but uh, I just swapped to a five. Uh, 30 seconds on my uh, electric ratchet just it's faster I'm lazy so next we're going to be taking the plenum right here the uh, tube we're going to be inserting the new um, metal piece for the vacuum pull and um, the new sensor so we're going to be taking the sensor out of the old housing here Right out here, we're just gonna pop that out and then we're gonna be popping that in and hooking that all up and then putting it in the car. So I'll see you guys when I get done with that. So I was just removing the air temp sensor and I thought this would be a good point um, to make. So if you look at the air temp sensor where it is, you see that little tab there, you're gonna wanna pull on the air temp sensor just a little bit to get it over that tab and then turn it, uh, like turn it, um, counterclockwise and it will release the air temp sensor so don't just yank on it you will break those tabs just gently pull on it a little bit pop it over that tab roll it over and you will have it nice and clean out um yeah don't just yank on it you will break it um easy way to get it out and just to see what you're doing is just pop off the cap of it it's just those four three clips and uh yeah so we're gonna keep going. Guys, with the intake plenum end, I like to kind of hide the bolts, so I like put that one in the back, I'll put that one kind of tucked in there. You just want to make sure they're really tight. Um, the tighter, the better. I, I mean, not really, but like you want them really tight. You want them tight because if you have vacuum leaks, you're gonna be throwing check engine codes. You're gonna be having bad idling issues. You're gonna be having issues if you don't have them where you're not gonna have vacuum leaks. Um, but yeah, so tighten that up. You can throw this back on, you can throw the air temp sensor back on, and now we're gonna be working on the cover for this. Super easy, four bolts in the cover, the little logo, the Air Raid logo, and that's it. It's pretty much done. It's super easy to do. Um, anyone can do it with just hand tools. I'm using an electric ratchet because I have one and it's faster, um, but yeah, super easy to do. Um, so we're gonna tighten that up. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna bolt it all up and uh, yeah, then we'll get some noises of uh, the after.
All right, with that, the new air raid intake is in. It's looking awesome. So um, I'm gonna be setting up, I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna be cleaning this up real quick. Um, gonna keep the stock intake because I still do have factory warranty. So God forbid something happens, I can just throw the stock intake back on. Um, super easy to do, like, but um, yeah, so definitely recommend. It was super easy to do. Um, let's hear uh, that sound. Hopefully we hear some uh, turbo noises. All right, guys. Personally, I didn't hear a difference at all in the uh, in the driver's seat. Um, but who knows? I'm gonna listen to the video, go listen back to it, um, and I'll uh, I'll guys keep you updated. I'll get the blow off valve soon. Um, hopefully, it will come in the mail real quick. Um, but then we're also gonna be continuing on the Mustang later on, and doing a couple other things. So. We got some cool things planned. Um, I really want to do um, exhaust on the Ranger as well. Just a cat back. Um, excuse me. Nothing crazy like a downpipe or anything. Um, but I'll definitely let you guys know in the next video how it feels driving um, with the new intake. Hopefully it does feel a little better. better and hopefully it feels like a little more peppy. Um, just double checking making sure everything is good um yeah i mean hopefully i bet my butt dyno tells me that uh it's gonna be faster but who knows so um all right so i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching remember like comment subscribe let me know what you guys want to see in the future what um any suggestions you have anything else um but next video, we will be working on the Mustang. We'll be putting the starter back in. We'll be doing the exhaust on the Mustang. We'll be doing a couple other things on it. Um, so, yeah. And uh, see you next time. Peace.